Probably obvious who I'm going to see. Hopefully, I'll have a signed CD by Black Dahlia Murder. Woo! Huh? I said, Woo! No, 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 no. <laughs> camera shy much? I'm very camera shy. <laughs> yeah, I need something for my YouTube, for my subscribers as well. And I'm here with uh, one more person. Don't be camera shy, Amber. Yep, two camera shy people and two not so much. I'm not camera, I got too much to learn. Alright, All right, so now let's recap uh, how I what I thought of Warp Tour, what I um, what what happened there, the people I went with, the bands I met, and all you know, all that stuff. Um first here's the people I went with. In this picture from left to right it's Re Rebecca Bree. Amber, and then myself. Now, here's some stuff that happened before we even entered the venue. There was a lot of local bands and organizations giving out various merchandise. I also got a, I also had a wristband from PETA too, but after, but that's because I did not know it was PETA too. As soon as I saw the PETA two logo, I'm like, no. So I, so I, so I just took it home, cut cut it up because it was free, you know. I cut it up and I put it in and I put it in the trash. And and I know people are going to be asking I don't support PETA. I mean, they have good they get have good motives, but they just take things way too far. So, PETA does not have my support unless their ways change, but I highly doubt that. Um, but any but anyway, there were also a lot of there was also another organization called Psych, you know, and they gave me these sh these shades, you know, they they were free. <laughs> Can't turn those down. And um, it fits pretty good. It blocks out the sun pretty good. Although, I have to say, this one is loose and I need to find a way to fix it. Basically, what Psych is, is um, they're all about being smoke-free, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's an organization I can support. So. And anyway, here's some... Now for the local bands that... Or, not sure if they're local, but they're not as well known as the bands that I went to see, but I got this CD from The Paramedic. It's uh, pretty good. It actually kind of reminds me of... Actually, I don't know who, who to really compare them to, but they're more post-hardcore based than, than anything else, but they use ma mainly harsh vocals, but they also have a good... They also have a good amount of clean vocals. And I know a lot of... And I know a few pe friends of mine are going to think... I thought you said you don't like high vocals. To make this clear, I don't dislike all high vocals. It depends on the vocalist. Some examples of high vocals I don't like are Asking Alexandria, uh, Dillinger Escape Plan, Attack Attack, and Sleeping with Sirens. Some examples of high vocals I do like are Dark Funeral, um, Immort Immortal, Amon Amarth, Heaven Shall Burn, and Suicide Silence. Well, now you know. Um, the other CD I got is not hardcore or metal, it's in fact an alternative rock CD. And I'm talking about um, what happened in Vegas. And I also got a sticker from them with that CD, which I will show you to you right now. That's the sticker that I got. It's, as you can see, it's on my pencil sharpener. Oh, and that's another sticker I got from another local band called Pain, which is a punk band. I also got a pin from them, but... I'll show that to you later. Really cool thing that happened with that band is, even though they're not really as well known yet, it's still pretty cool to me. They signed the CD itself. I think it's just two two of the members, but it's still pretty cool. But uh, anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the bands that I went to see inside the fest. Oh, um, but first, first things first. Before we actually went in. A really cool thing happened. We got to meet Nikki, the guitarist of New Year's Day. And I thought it was pretty cool. And a uh, really funny thing, before we went into World Tour, I had no idea that they were coming. I do like New Year's Day. It might sound strange coming from a guy who likes death metal and black metal. But um, I do like New Year's Day. And they put on a really good show.
and I got this, I got their latest album, and it's, as you can see, it's signed by all the band members. And they, and it also came with a poster that doubled as the booklet, which I will show to you right now. All right, guys, so that's the poster slash booklet that I mentioned that came with the CD. I think it's pretty cool. But anyway, we also got to meet uh, Ash Costello right before she went with New Year's Day to perform on stage. And I almost forgot to mention that I also got this wristband from the merch stand as well. Now for the other band I went to went to go see, and the most obvious one on, on the lineup was um, the Black Dahlia Murder. Before that, I went to see Upon a Burning Body, and they put on a good show, but there were too many hardcore dancers for me to be in the crowd comfortably. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, this is a bottle I got from War Tour, by the way. Uh, but after Upon a Burning Body, the Black Dahlia Murder came on, and they put on an awesome show. I even got into one of their circle pits. I didn't, I didn't crowd surf, though, because... Okay, I was a bit of a wuss then, but I will next year, and maybe even at Mayhem Festival. But I got their full length, which is ever black, and not sure if you can see it, but it's also signed by all the band members. And they are really cool. They are really cool people. Not only is the music good, but they are really cool people. Let's see. At the merch stand, I also got this T-shirt, and I'm a. I gotta tell you this right now. I'm a big sucker for album cover T-shirts. I have one from Immolation, another from Suffocation. I have this one, of course, and another one from Born of Osiris. I don't recall all of them. Oh wait, I think even this one is a album cover shirt. It's from Hate Eternal, King of All Kings. But um, this one is also. A tour t-shirt and the it is and of course the one I went to was this one Virginia Beach Virginia you know and at the and at that same you know at that same merch table I also got a patch for my battle jacket and I have another patch on here which I will show to you dur during my mayhem festival uh, video um, now for the next band that I got merch for was, um, I'm not sure if it's alternative rock or uh, pop punk. You figure that out for yourself. All I know is they're from Sydney, Australia, and of course I'm talking about Tonight Alive. And I'll, you can't see it here, but inside, the booklet's signed by all the band members. You know, I remember... I. After I signed them and got a picture with them, which I'll show right now. I remember getting really excited because I got to hug Jenna McDougal, the lead singer of Tonight Alive. And it was just an, like, it was a feeling beyond words. That's how excited I was. Um, yeah, they put on a really awesome show. They even played The Ocean from their, from their latest album, which I bought not too long ago. It's also really good. If you haven't checked it out yet... Go listen to it. It's very good if you're into alternative rock, pop punk. And the final band I went to go see, although I'll just show you a picture because I didn't get any merch with them and I didn't get to meet them either, it was Crown the Empire. I thought they put on a really good show, but they could have had a bigger stage because they they're a really good band, in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you around for my next video, which is about Mayhem Festival. Let's go, let's go,